The two things that we're going to check are obviously taper and out around. So for taper, we're going to check the bore up here at the top, and then we're going to go to the middle, and then we're going to go to going to be using is a dial. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure our cylinder bores. Now I just have a cylinder sleeve here that uh, we're going to use just to demonstrate. You'll be working on the bores on your blocks. The first tool we're going to talk about here is the T-gauge or the telescopic. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the telescopic gauge into the bore and we're going to basically what you want to do is you want to rock this back and forth and kind of find your center here. Once you're confident that you're centered, we're going to very gently snug up the T-gauge and remove it. At that point, this is also known as a transfer gauge. Now we can't really read this gauge, so what we do is we take the appropriate micrometer, in this case it's a 4 to 5, so we're just going to barely go in and we're just going to get that T-gauge in there and touch on it. We're holding it between those two points and then at that point we're going to lock our mic and we go ahead and take our reading. The two things that we're going to check are obviously taper and out around. So for taper, we're going to check the bore up here at the top, and then we're going to go to the middle, and then we're going to go to the bottom. We're going to take the smallest and the lowest reading from those three, and we're going to subtract the highest number and the lowest number. We're going to get our taper. So that's a T gauge. The other tool that you're going to be using is a dial bore gauge. Now the dial bore gauge has to be calibrated. Now first of all, you can check taper with a dial bore gauge or out of round for that matter by putting the bore gauge in, find the, the smallest point and then what you want to do is you want to zero out your dial indicator. If we find the smallest point here, we want to take and zero our indicator out. You might have to fine tune that a little bit. But if we get on zero there, then we can go down to the bottom and you see this cylinder has a lot of taper in it. This is an old worn out cylinder. So it's actually a lot smaller down here than it is up at the top. So we've got pretty close to zero there. And then we go down here and you see it comes all the way over here. There's a lot of taper in this. And keep in mind this bore gauge is getting bigger going this way. It gets smaller going back behind zero this way because it is an inside diameter. So we're going to check top, middle, and bottom and then for out around we're going to check the bore this way we'll check it this way zero it out and then of course we'll go diagonally this way and check the bore this way so that's basically tapering out around the other thing we do if we want to check the size of this cylinder we have to look up our specifications in the book and we have to set our mic for our spec right here and then we lock it in place and then we go ahead and we put this between the two fingers of the mic and once we get this between the two fingers of the micrometer we just zero out the dial bore gauge. We're going to zero that dial bore gauge out. If we zero it out we know that the zero on our indicator is matching what our spec is that we set here and then we just put the dial bore gauge in and we compare that to the bore diameter to see if it's in spec size wise or not.